Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the Philadelphia Phillies going up against the New York Mets. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about to get underway. And on the hill, Chris Bassett. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Kyle Schwarber takes a ball here as he stands in now. First pitch, 708. Next offering is in for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Next offering is foul back. Kicks and fires. And it's even up. Two of the most potent offenses in the game squaring off. That one the other way. Hauls it in for the out. As we take a gander at Joe Girardi's lineup for the Phillies. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they That's use their hurt. team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing Harper. teams, especially in a big game, big series. At the play, Bryce Harper. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. These two offenses could put up runs in a hurry. Fouled off. He was late. No score just getting started. Top of the first. Next pitch misses. One and two to count. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Harper retired. And that is that. Quickly go the Phillies. Half and incomplete. We've got no score. Been a very solid pitcher throughout his career. ERA around three and a half. What I like is he competes, he stays in the game, and he gives his team an opportunity to win. Bottom of the first. And stepping in for New York, Luis Guillorme. Way to go. The second base. Luis. The pitch. Guillorme. Going around. And the pitch. Swing and a base hit. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. Starling Marte swings through one there. Rudder at first with no outs here. Slice the other way and foul. And the next pitch is way outside. One, two. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. 
Oh, now this one gets away at the plate. And a pitch. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. A couple of hits that in a row good. for him here. That's Anytime you rip a line drive Press the other way, go. you feel really good Press about go. what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Here's Francisco Lindor. And first offering is fouled off. Guillaume, the lead runner out at second. Marte, out at first with nobody out. Next offering misses, and it's one and one. That one ripped, but foul. a one two and yeah, that's outside and now it's filled up they tried to get him to go chase the pitch down and away but he wouldn't bite first and second here no outs The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off-speed and walked the hitter. Got man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. The and now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. Oh, oh, and now a wild pitch. belt and fires there's a strike you need a strikeout and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up something but you've got to make some pitches but if he can battle and get through this he can earn some points next offering misses down and away Berg in situations like these the air can get really thin up there at the plate got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down line drive caught There's a Mets lineup now. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click, and unfortunately what happens is guys press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. And that one is lifted in the air. And that's going to be a double, and it'll score two. Now two runs score. And they clear the bases. Three runs score. It's three zip. And the throws offline. Safe at third. Just a beautiful triple from start to finish. Got a pitch he could drive, turned on it, and hammered it out front into the gap. Right out of the box. I love how he was hustling. And I think he knew he was going for three as soon as he touched down. Here's Mark Canna. Batting six, the center fielder, Mark Canna. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. And a bunt right side. Hoskins. A flip to the pitcher cover. There for the out, run comes in on the safety squeeze. Well, the safety squeeze can be tough to defend, especially with a good runner at third. You can't risk trying to be overly aggressive and make a play at the plate and give up that easy out at first. Dom Smith stands in. Oh. 
First offering misses the mark. Well, at this pace, he's not going to be in this game for very long, but he's got to find a way to shake it off, keep it isolated in one inning, come back out. You could throw up a bunch of zeros and save that bullpen. That one ripped left field. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. One inning in the books here. It's the Mets four and the Phillies nothing. Top of the second, and now the DH, Nick Castellanos. Leading off for Philadelphia, the designated hitter. And the right hater back Nick. to work. Castellanos. And a strike. He's already pitching with a 4 nothing lead, so we should see him be aggressive. Fill up the strike zone, don't issue free passes. And a foul ball. Oh and two now. Here's a tapper towards short. Zips it across, and Castellanos is out. That is big. The second baseman, Gene Segura. And first offering is fouled off. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just oh, mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. And now one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two away. Oh, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed. And you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip the cap. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Next offering is fouled back. Slice to right, and a base hit. So he gets on base and keeps it going. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. And one and two. And a ground ball to first. He takes it on his own. That's out number three. One left for Back here in Queens, bottom of the second. Here's the left fielder, Here go. Nick Plummer. On the mound, he's no got to remember his offense can Nick. score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. The 1 0. Fouled off left side. The pitch. A little bit low. Ball. And downstairs. Three balls, one strike. In the air, left field. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Batting none. And next for the, the Mets, catcher. Patrick Mazika. On the ground, right side. Sends it to first. And a couple of quick outs. The batter, number 13. Back to the top of the Second Mets baseman. order. Here's Luis, Luis. Guillorme. Guillorme. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Two down, nobody on. Wouldn't chase that time. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And that one is lifted in the air. And now maybe extra bases. 
He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where you could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. Here's Starling Marte. And he grounds one back up the middle. Base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Back-to-back -back singles. Just kept Red it simple. Blake Pepper with the middle of the infield. And took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Fly ball down the line. And that'll do it. Two left. Back here at City Field, onto the third inning. And here is Herrera. And first offering is fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. On the ground the first. Takes it himself. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Line drive and foul ball. You'll want. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. And a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Now Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Kyle. Swung out, belted. On its way. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Kyle Schwarber goes deep. His 11th of the year. It's 4 2. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. And now it's Alec Bohm. Now batting. Third base. And he caught it behind Alex. his back. Bohm. On the money. Nice play. Bryce. Bryce Harper to the plate. Harper. Line drive, base hit. And that extends the inning. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Off the, the bat, that one registered eight. at 105 Never miles per hour, hit. man. That is smoking, and Coffee these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. Next offering is in for a strike. Harper off of first with two away. Next offering is fouled back. And that's downstairs and outside. One, two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good job of damage control right there, but not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now 4-2. And welcome back. Here's Pete Alonso. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Oh, Alonso. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The wind of the pitch. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Pete Alonso takes it deep, his 12th of the season, and they tack on to their lead. It's 5 2. Power 
versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? But a really good job there by the hitter, getting the top hand working. How is that fastball out of here? Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. One for one, he tripled in his first trip. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Check swing. He went. Going to count one and two. The line of the pitch. Misses. Two and two. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. And the righty deals. And now the count filled up three and two. Pitch of the at bat due next. Right side. Hoskins takes it himself. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Now here is Mark Canna. He's 0 for 1. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That one back there. Gone! Mark Hanna takes him deep, and they add to their lead. It's 6-2. A big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around Numbers the bases. Base good for two. him. Now it's Dominic Smith. Smith. And first offering is fouled off. And here it comes. Jack swing. No appeal. And the count even one and one. Still only one out here in the inning. Falling behind two and one. On the ground, right side. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly, but he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. Two outs, space is empty. So up next for New York, Nick Plummer. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Now a high fly ball out to left center. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that's the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not one. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the second baseman, Gene Segura. For Philadelphia, the second baseman. Yeah. In for a strike. That's Segura. strike one. Well, a big lead like this is comfortable many times, but not when these two teams are matching up. You got to continue to keep your head down, play catch with that catcher, and just try to move through this lineup. Puts it away for the out. Up next for Philadelphia, the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. One for one with a single so far. In the air, left field. Puts it away for the out.
now batting. Catcher, JT. Real Muto. And now it is JT Real Muto. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Bazika makes the catch, and that'll do it. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Mets six. Welcome back. Bottom four. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Patrick Mazika. For the Mets, the catcher, Patrick Wheeler. Back to work. Check swing, but he went too far, and it's 0-1. And now the count is even. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. One two now. And it's fouled away. Next offering is in the dirt. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. Next one just misses. And a full count now. And he walked him. Just missed his spot on the inside right there. So the batting order turns over. Here's the second baseman, Luis Guillorme. Guillorme. And first offering is fouled off. Fly ball right field. Herrera should have this one. And he makes the catch. And there's one away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. The right fielder. Starling, Starling Marte up to him. And first offering is fouled off. Bazika over at first with one away. And that one fouled off. This to center field. Brings it in with a nice running grab. Out number two. Now batting shortstop Francisco. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. And the right hander deals. Ripped on a line. And that's a base hit. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. The Mets leave one. They lead it six to two. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's the right fielder, Odubel Herrera. First pitch just misses. Herrera. Now this is in the air down the line. Marte ranging back. 
makes the grab on the run. One away. Now that is Johan Camargo. Johan Camargo. Next offering is down low. Ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Chris, we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what we we're expecting performance-wise. Yeah, but great pitchers like this, you may get one opportunity in one inning to get to them, to get some runs up on the board. And if you don't take it then, you may see zeros the rest of the ball game. One down, base is empty. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. A wind of the pitch. And that's ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Kyle. And digging in for Philadelphia, Kyle Schwarber. First offering, and it just misses. Foul ball there. Left-hand batter waits. Swings and misses. One and two. And that one gets away at the plate. Runner at second here, one gone. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two gone now. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in, kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Boom in the box for the third time today as he takes that one off the plate. The next offering misses. And now 2-0. Next one misses, and now 3 0. So now two on and two outs. Here's Harper now. The center fielder, number three. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 and 2 now. And down on strikes he goes, and that is that. Phillies leave a couple. Here's the new pitcher please. for the Phillies, Andrew Bellotti. He last pitched two days Number ago. 64. Well, at this point of the ball Andrew. game, we're talking about middle oh. innings, and you get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Back here in Queens, John Chami with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Pete Alonso. Here comes a pitch. Check swing went around. It's 0 and 1. Righty to the plate. That one drilled left field. And gone! His second home run of the game, and they boost their lead. It's 7 2. Put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. And stepping in for New York, Eduardo Escobar. Now batting the third baseman, Eduardo. Bounded Escobar. ball here, rolls foul. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Back-to-back -back base hits. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load out of the way early. Stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. 
so a man aboard and next for the Mets Mark Canna he's already homered in this game it's softly on the ground left side over to Segura throw to first safe The first Still play right there two. didn't really have enough time to Go set ahead. his feet and make a strong accurate Good. throw had to rush it but he got it off and he got it there in time to get that out at second base Dominic Smith up now for the Mets on the ground right side four six three it's a double play and that'll do it for the inning one scores in the inning coming on this solo home run it's seven two and welcome back. Top of the sixth inning. Digging in, Nick Castellanos. Leading off for Philadelphia. That's in there. That's strike one. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Hit on the ground to the right side. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Now batting the second baseman, Gene Segura. Gene Segura at the plate here. In there for strike one. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. On the ground. Lindor on to first. Segura out the play. Now back the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. This one in the air center field. Canna going back. Back some more. Squeezes it. And that is that. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Mets seven and the Phillies two. Back here at the ballpark. Bottom of the six. And stepping in for New York. Nick Plummer. For the Mets. The left fielder. Nick Bellotti. Back to work. Good eye right there. And that chance handled. One up, one down. Now that the catcher, Patrick Mazzica. Here's the catcher, Patrick Mazzica. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Oh, one gets a check swing. Appeal to third. Nope, he held back. Here's a one to one. And now two and one after that missed inside. Bounce to the right. Segura collects, gathers, and throws to first. Two up, two down. The batter, number 13. Here's the Second Mets leadoff base. man, Luis Guillorme. Guillorme. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And that one hammered back there. And that one is out of here. He'll circle the bases. His second of the year, it's 8-2. fastball you have to live on the edges and hit your spots if you don't you'll get hit hard really good swing there patient waited for it it was like BP all over again Starling Marte up now for the Mets the right fielder number six Starling Marte. first offering misses the mark
Next pitch is outside. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2-0 count. He's got to execute here or this could get ugly. Two zero. Lined and that's a base hit. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come, come into the zone, and then that's guys have up. a better chance of Red hitting the ball hard, like he did right there. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Throw over to first, and he's back in easily. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next one is off the play. Two balls, no strikes. Marte off of first with two away. Hit hard, base hit. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two out double, second and third now. now well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front, lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Next is the cleanup hitter for the Mets, Pete Alonso. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit. And he looks pretty locked in right now at the dip. Next pitch downstairs. And that is ball one. Two on, two outs. Ball two. After giving up that home run earlier, it just doesn't seem like he wants to challenge him. Two outs. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. Here's a 3-0. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. The 3-1. In the air, out towards right center. Pereira ranging into the alley. And that'll do it. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now 8-2. Top of inning number seven. Here's the speedy catcher, JT Real Muto. For Philadelphia, the catcher, JT and a pitch and it's waiting to miss usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing he has filled up the strike zone and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes well that's exactly what this guy has done in this one over 70 percent first pitch strikes next pitch has popped up Guillaume settles under it and makes the catch and there's one down and now the right fielder, Odubel Herrera. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. And fouled off. And a pitch. And that one wrapped foul. 0 oh, and 2 now. Check swing, no appeal. It's a ball and two strikes. There's a swing and a drive. Pretty well struck. A wide to kick the pitch. Stays alive. Left hand hitter waits. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball.
Next pitch inside. Two balls, two strikes. And down on strikes. And there's two away. Absolutely dotted the edge of the zone right there. That was a tough battle, man. So to make a really quality pitch and just catch him looking like that, it's got to feel good out there on the mound. That was a fun at bat to watch. Two outs, base is empty. Johan Camargo with the dish. In there, and it's 0-1. That one the other way. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. And it's still 8-2. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. James Norwood. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. Here's the third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. Leading up for the Mets. The third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. The pitch. And a foul ball. Next pitch in the dirt. And that's ball one. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Bailey Falter up and throwing for Joe Girardi. Nelson, the right-hander, also getting loose. In the air to left, down the line. Schwarber puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one down. Now batting, center fielder. Mark Ken up now for the Mets. Ken Next pitch has popped up. Norwood makes the grab. And yeah, there's two away. The first baseman, number two. Dominic Nothing. Smith up now for the Mets. Yeah. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Look out! And it hit him. Nick Plummer up Number now for the Mets. Number 11, Nick Plummer. On the ground, right side. And that will end the inning. Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Seth Lugo. And a healthy sized lead for him to go to work with. Luka. Ready to begin the eighth. So digging in now for Philadelphia, for Philadelphia. Kyle Schwarber. The left fielder. Kyle Schwarber. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Next offering upstairs. Kicks and deals. And now it's even up. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Smoked on the ground a second. And that's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Boom. Stands in now and watches strike one. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Here's Bryce Harper. Now and he'll be beating himself up on field. the way back to the dugout. Nice. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Next offering is in for a strike. Pitch misses inside. And a count one and two. 
Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Oh, well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position to try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Nick Castellanos goes deep, and they cut into the lead. It's 8 4. Hitters today are looking to pull the ball and get it in the air. Even on a breaking ball away, does a nice job of staying square to the plate, allowing his arms to get extended and get good wood to it. Base is empty with two away. And now for the Phillies, Gene Segura. Now batting, second baseman, Gene Segura. And first offering is fouled off. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. But the Phils get two on this blast. It's now 8-4. Bottom of the eighth, and here's the catcher, Patrick Mazika. Leading off for the Mets, the catcher, Patrick Mazika. And he deals. Now one miss. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Next offering is foul back. Next one misses two and one. Started after it, appealed a third, and he won around. Ruled a swing. Righty delivers. And another ball. Kicks and fires. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Now one away. First strikeout for him in this one. That splitter is maybe the go-to pitch when he's looking for a swing and miss like that. He throws it quite a bit, and that's a good example of the effect it can have on a hitter. Rip back to the mound, and that got him. On to first. Two up, two down. Now batting right here. Now the number two hitter, Starling Marte. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Well, this is the type of hitter you want up in this situation. Some sluggers coming up behind him. He's so good at moving runners, but also getting on base. See if he can be patient here. Harper settles under it and makes the grab. That is the inning. So they turn to Edwin Diaz out of the pen, trying to protect this lead. Reese Hoskins stands in for the Phillies. There's a strike. Pitch misses there. One and one. Right-hander kicks deals. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. And there's a ball. Swing and a miss. Full count now. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle. But I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that ball. Tapped softly on the ground, and he picks it up in foul territory. In the air, center field. Canna settles underneath it. Makes the grab one down. Now 
now it's the right fielder Odubel Herrera and that's in there for strike one that was absolute gas triple digits on the gun it's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by squirts away a little bit the two on fought off foul Hoskins at first one gone got him and they're down to their last down well, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Camargo stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And that's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two now away. Man. Making some well, noise man. here, trying to give themselves a chance. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Tie a guy up like that. You're feeling like you are in command. Just one strike away. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Another day, another win. I really think these guys have forgotten how to lose a ball game. It's been so long since they've lost. I really don't know what else to say. They're just a can't-miss ball club right now. And our final here today, 8-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi saying so long.